Hi, in this video we'll learn how to subtract a mixed number from a whole number. So my question is, I have 7 minus 2, 1 over 3. The first thing we're going to do is we have to change the whole number into a fraction first and then we have to change the mixed number into a fraction first. So we'll have both the fractions and then we can subtract it. So how do I change the whole number into a fraction? Whenever you have to change a whole number to a fraction, you have to set the denominator equal to 1. So this becomes 7 over 1. Now 7 over 1 is same as 7 because 7 divided by 1 will still say 7. Then I have the minus sign in between. Now I have to change this mixed number into a fraction. So what I'm going to do is I will multiply my denominator with the whole number first. So 3 times 2 will be 6. And then I have to add 6 to the numerator. So 3 times 2 is 6. And then 6 plus 1 will be 7. So I get 7 over 3. Now what do you see? What do you notice in this fraction that you have different denominators? Whenever you have different denominators, you can't add or subtract the fraction unless you make them equal. So what do I do in this fraction to make the denominator equal to 3? Well, I can just multiply this fraction by 3, 3 over 3, to make the denominator equal to 3. So let's multiply this fraction by 3 over 3. And when I do that, I'm not actually changing the value. 3, uh, 3 over 3 is exactly the same as I'm multiplying this by 1. So 7 over 1 times 1 will still stay 7. Now I have to multiply the numerators. 3 times 7 will be 21. And then 3 times 1 will be 3. And then I have minus 7 over 3. Now, we just have to subtract the numerators. 21 minus 7 will be 14. And then I have 3 in my denominator, which will, uh, denominator you never subtract or add, so it will still remain 3. So my answer is 14 over 3. Now, what do you notice? That your question is, is in the form of mixed number or a whole number. Well, we can't get a whole number for this fraction because 14 uh, will not go completely into 3. So that's why we're never going to get the whole number. But we can change this into a mixed number since the question is in the whole number and the mixed number. So let's change this fraction to a whole number. Uh, for changing the fraction to the whole number, we just have to divide it by using the long division method. So 14 divided by 3 uh, divided by 3. How many times does 14 go into 3? Uh, so 3 times 4 will be 12 because 3 times 5 is 15. And we can subtract 15 from 14. So 3 times 4 will be 12. I'll write 12 here. And then I have to subtract it. 4 minus 2 will be 2. And 1 minus 1 will be 0. Now I don't have any other number to bring down. I'm, I'm done with the uh, division. Now I have to write this into the mixed number. So uh, your answer goes, that becomes your whole part. So 4 becomes your whole part. And then the remainder and divisor uh, becomes your numerator and denominator. Your remainder becomes the numerator and uh, divisor becomes your denominator. So for the fractional part, 2 goes on the top, remainder goes on the top. And then the divisor goes uh, bottom. So you have three. So your final answer is four, two, with three.